Okay, what could be better than going to get rid of a bunch of recycled junk and then taking it to the junkyard? The only thing better is taking it there in an electric car. So we're 74% and temperature is really good and the batteries are pretty constant, 14.1 maximum and then the minimum and the average is 14.0. So even though we look only at the module level, still it's, it's pretty constant. So it's pretty much 1.4 volts uh, across the board. General Motors says that it has trouble, you know, making a the Volt car with an, an all-electric range of 40 miles, and that you know maybe sometime in the future they could get to 50 miles all-electric range, but they don't. They don't really think they can do that, according to the technical team. You know, but here we see a car that has gone, you know, 77,000. 180 miles, um, you know, without without any gasoline at all or any oil either, you know, and it goes regularly over 100 miles on a charge. Now, if this car goes over 100 miles on a charge, you know, at, at highway speeds up to 80 miles an hour, uh, what's stopping General Motors from from doing it? Now, this this one uses nickel metal hydride batteries. But, you know, it was also true of the 1997 and 1999 EV1, which went over uh, 100 miles on lead-acid batteries. The Panasonic lead-acid 1260 batteries. So why would General Motors not be able to have 50 miles or 40 miles of all-electric range? And, you know, we don't have any trouble keeping up with other cars. Uh, in fact, you know, quite often other cars get in the way. So what is wrong with this car? Why does, why does nobody even see this car exists? You know, why are they saying that, you know, it's hard to make a car with all electric range of 40 miles? Well, this one has an all electric range of over 100 miles. You know, and it, it weighs, I believe, more than the Volt at least about the same, and this is an SUV. This is not aerodynamic at all. You know, I mean, the, the Volt, they say they had to turn it backward to make it aerodynamic. Well, this thing, you turn it frontwards, you turn it backwards, it's still a small SUV, and it's not aerodynamic at all. So it weighs more than the Volt, has lousy aerodynamics uh, capability, and yet it gets, it gets over 100 miles all electric range. At the electric car show, uh, EVS 23, they of course wouldn't let us look inside under the Volt's hood to see what was down there. But it's okay because we already know what's down there. You know, there's three golf cart batteries and a in a in a golf cart, you know, 36 volt motor, uh, and and that's okay. I mean, sooner or later they'll do something better. But the fact that they, they've worked on this thing, this Volt, for a year, and they they prototype all it has is a an external design that they hadn't even gone through the wind tunnel indicates that you know they're really really going slow on this thing. <laughs> now if this thing was the Volt, you know, I, I would be going uh, all the distance entirely in electric mode because I'm not going to go more than 40 miles today. I'm only going to go about 35. So you know this would this if it were the Volt would never use the range extending gas engine that only serves to run the car when the battery's low. Uh, hence, you know, this thing plus a range extender, you know, would be would be all you'd need. So pretending I'm in a Volt, you know, I'm using no gasoline to drive this this uh, this distance. And in fact, if we did have the Volt, you know, most of our driving would be done without gasoline at all, because most of our driving is under 40 miles. And in any case, you could drive 40 miles, you could plug it in and charge and go another 40 miles all electric. So the only, the only time you'd need the range extender is if you went more than 100 miles a day or so. But really, you could put more batteries in there too. You know, you, you don't need to just use the batteries that General Motors provides, if it were ever to provide them. You could also add other batteries, you know, and additional batteries would give you more range. So really, you know, there could be a Volt with a 40 mile range in all electric mode. There could be a Volt with a 10 mile range in all electric mode. There could be a Volt with a 100 mile range in all electric mode. And why, why aren't they producing these is the question. They're saying that they don't have the batteries yet. Well, this thing has the batteries. And the 1997 EV1 had the batteries. 
Now, why are they ignoring the EV1? Why are they ignoring the Honda EV? Why are they ignoring the past history of electric cars? I mean, it isn't as if these cars don't exist. Just because they crushed almost all the EV1s, you know, there, there are still EV1s that still exist and proves that they can go over 100 miles in all electric mode uh, just using lead acid batteries.